Hey, Branson, can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you. How y'all doing? All right, great. Good, thanks. We've got uh, defensive lineman Branson Dean here. Uh, again, as a reminder, use the hand raise function, and we will start with Adam from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, go ahead. Hey, Branson, how's it going? What's up, Adam? I'm good, man. How you doing? I'm good. Um, so speaking about, you know, how, how good you are, um, I know Coach Cristobal, Coach Gidry have uh, – talked about how important it is to have you back, you know, in the start in the rotation and starting and everything. Um, I know you've played the last few weeks, so I guess we're up until recently, were you kind of still limited by, you know, I think it was a foot injury that you had or whatever you were dealing with before that? Yeah, I was I was kind of limited in practice. Uh last week my first uh full week back to um to practice and I think it kind of showed in uh my play. Um I think it's yeah, I think it's really important to get out here and practice. Um and uh, get prepared. Uh, but yeah, my limitations are gone now, man. So I'm I'm fully back. And then also, I mean, you guys have been doing very well in the past rush the last few weeks. I think I could be wrong. I I'd have to look it up for sure. But I think you guys have five sacks or more in the last three games. Um, just what's been working so well for you guys in the past rush the last few weeks? I think our preparation, man. Um, during the week we're really getting after it. Uh, we're really um studying. Uh, studying different. Um, we're working moves. Coach Taylor has us on uh, crayons every day. Um, and, and we're really just getting after it in our preparation. And I think it's really showing up. Uh, we're hustling around in practice. And um, now we have a we, we got a quarterback in our pass rush that we got to wrap up um, after every rep. So, I mean, that's giving us as real a uh, look that, as we can get uh, prior to game time. So, uh, it's just in our preparation. Uh, next, let's go to Matt Shodell. Matt, go ahead. Hey, Branson. Um, so, you know, it's it's crazy, but, you know, your defense has been missing so many linemen on and off all year between you and now Nigel Leak and Akeem. Um, what does it say just sort of about Lance Gidry's, def you know, style of defense and how Lance Gidry coaches that the defense, you know, you guys are number 24 in the nation in total defense, even missing all these guys, you know, A, how good would this defense line have been if everyone stayed healthy? And B, how good a job has Coach Gidry done just getting you guys ready every single week? Yeah, like you said, man, we're missing two great guys, two huge pieces um to our defense. But I think it it kind of um it kind of explains like our, our leadership. Um, man, we we got guys all over the place um that, that have to be prepared, uh, young and old. Uh, we got a bunch of old guys, but we got some young guys too stepping up. You guys seen uh, Jaden Wayne out there? Um, so he's a guy that's gonna have to help us. Um, and uh, Coach G's doing a great job, man. He's he's keeping it simple. Um, but but we also got to be prepared to play and uh and be ready before game uh game time. Next, we'll go to Marcus Benjamin. Marcus, go ahead. Hey, Branson, how's it going? What up, Marcus? Man, I'm good. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. I uh, wanted to ask you about transferring to Miami. Obviously, you're a transfer from Purdue, so we're mid season now. How do you feel about your decision to transfer? From to Miami, and what would you say to players that are thinking about transferring to the U? Um, so first of all, transferring to Miami was probably the best decision I've ever made. Um, in terms of um being on a platform uh, that's around a bunch of guys that are really talented, um, really pushing myself to um up my level of play. Um, shoot, we have a we have a freshman that's all worldly and. You kind of got to kind of got to match his uh, style of play every time you go out there. So uh, best decision I've ever made. Um, if you're if you're thinking about coming here, just do it, man. Um, I was I was kind of afraid too, but it's a it's a leap of faith, um, and I struck gold, man. So uh, best decision I ever made. Um, come check out the U. Uh, next, we'll go to Susan Miller Degnan. Susan, go ahead. Hi, Branson. Hey, Susan, how you doing? Good. Um, so I've been asking everybody, and there are some veterans on this call today on the Zoom. Um, you know, when you get to this time of the year, when you're hitting November, um, what are the what are the the physical and the mental challenges that you know change for football players or that happen when you get this late? How do you push through them, or how do you deal with them? And like you were just talking about, Ruben, like what do you do? You give any advice to younger guys? Just the whole bit. I think uh, coach started off the week. Uh, so yesterday, uh, coach uh, Cristobal started off the week with man. Everybody's in week nine. It's week nine for everybody. So uh, we we have to enhance toughness. We got to enhance uh, uh, mental toughness, and we just got to keep pushing. Uh, our, all of our goals are right in front of us, and if we left the gas now, man, 
um, November eats you up, man, because it's um, November, one of the most important months um, in our season, and we have to capitalize on the rest of our game. Um, Ruben's doing a great job uh, with uh, not only adapting to uh, being this late in the season. I know his body hurting, everybody's body hurting, but he's actually the guy that's um, preaching to everybody, man. We got to keep going. Uh, he's leading a group. Uh, he's just doing a great job. So it's not much uh, for us to say to him as leader. How does it, I think you kind of said this, but how does it eat you up November? Man, uh, November's tough because like you said, it's late in the season. Uh, everybody's hurting. Uh, um, everybody um, is, uh, might not, uh, might take days off of practice or it might not go as hard as practice. Man, we we have a great leader um, that's going to keep us sharp. It's going to keep us going. And uh, like you said, man, everybody's in week nine. So we can't, can't feel sorry for yourself because everybody's going through the same thing. We're just, we're just going to keep it, uh, we're going to keep it tough. And also, again, you might not really be paying as much attention, but the ACC released the future model, you know, and uh, I guess SMU, Stanford, and Cal, right, are at next year get added mm -hmm. to the conference. And for example, you guys go to Cal, UM will travel to Cal next year. What, what do you think of that, them getting added? And is that kind of fun going cross country trips and stuff? Yeah, I like it. I, I really do like it. I think it'll be a new experience for these guys uh, to go out and Cal and play. It's definitely um, a different uh, atmosphere uh, on your, like on your breathing and everything. I played uh, out West, uh, I think one time. And it's definitely a, a different uh, atmosphere. I think it'll be fun for these guys to go out there and uh, compete with those guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. And let's wrap up with a hey again from Adam. Adam, go ahead. Hey again. Um, <laughs> um, I was just looking, and uh, the O-line is, I think, tied for 10th in the nation in, in fewest sacks allowed. Um, you've been going up against them, uh, you know, since the spring. How have you seen them progress, and, and what do they do so well that, you know, can frustrate opposing defensive linemen? I think – I think for them, um, they're one of the best groups, and you can see it on film, of uh, working together um, and working on the string, man. Um, it's really frustrating when you got a three technique that's trying to work through the B gap and the tackle has his hand sitting there uh, for the guard blocking off your gap um, while also kicking out to the edge player and being able to uh, cut off his path. It's, it's really frustrating, but they work on a, a string, man, and, and they're really